Okay, for this next example, we don't have any interval uh, that's given. So because we don't have an interval given, that means that we have to do one extra thing for our answer. But to start out the problem, everything we're going to do is exactly the same as before. Now, whenever you have a problem like this where the trig function is not already isolated, you want to do that first. So we're going to treat the sine x, that whole thing, we're just going to treat that as like one variable. So we're going to divide both sides by negative 2, and we get sine x is equal to negative one half. Okay, so now this time we have a negative angle, now or a negative value that you have here. Now if you look at the table, we don't have any negative values on there. However, that's okay because we can still use the table itself in order to get all the answers that we have for this question. Negative one half, we need to actually first of all see what kind of reference angle are we talking about on this one. So we're going to ignore the negative sign and just look for one half with sine. So sine with one half right here, that's 30 degrees, so I know that I have a 30 degree reference angle. We need to think about what quadrants is sine negative in. If I do all students take calculus, that means that all of everything's positive here, students, sine's positive, take, that means sine's negative here, and calculus is cosine's positive, everything else is negative here. So therefore, down here in quadrant number three and quadrant number four from the all students take calculus uh, sign chart there that tells us that these are the two quadrants where I'm going to get an answer because those are the both the quadrants where sine is equal to negative one half. Now the value I'm looking at is 30 degrees so therefore right here that means that this this is 30 degrees I'm going to have an answer down there what it also means is that this is 30 degrees as well, and I'll have an answer right here. These two right here would have the same y value. This one, uh, we already talked about that just before in a previous video, but this is square root of three over two and negative one half down below here. Now, the reason why it's negative is because normally now if I was right here, if I drew the 30 degrees up here, that has a positive y value of one half because it's here and that's, that's the value directly from my table. However, if I go 30 degrees this way, the x value stays exactly the same, so that would still be positive square root of 3 over 2. However, if you're going from here to here, the y value changes sign, so it's going to be negative 1 half. Now over here, the, uh, the, the y value is still going to be negative 1 half as well, because if we go across the unit circle, this value and this value are exactly the same. Both of those are uh, negative 1 half. So, the, uh, over here, if I wanted to find the x value for this, uh, it's not asking me for it because it's really only asking me for a y value, but I could find the x value as well because some problems may ask for cosine instead of sine. So in this case, if you're over here, 30 degrees with, with cosine, that value is square root of 3 over 2. However, because you're in the third quadrant, that would have to be negative because if you do all students take tangents positive, everything else is going to be uh, negative. So therefore, here are my two points on the unit circle itself. In both of them, both of these angles, you get a y value of negative one half. That comes directly from the unit circle. So now we just have to uh, express them uh, as angles. And typically you don't want to use negative angles when you're doing this. You want to actually get in the habit of writing these as positive angles. This we already looked at in a previous example. We said that uh, if you go this direction, it's really like negative 30. And so in that case, it would be 360 minus 30. That means that this right here is really 330 going all the way around. So I know that one of my answers is going to be 330 degrees. Instead of going up this way, I'm going down that way. 360 minus the 30 in this direction gives you the, the 330. That's one of my angles. Now what about this one? Now this one, uh, if you go all the way around to here, that's 180 degrees. And we're going to go an additional 30 degrees more past that. So 180 to here, another 30 past that, that's 210 degrees. So therefore, that's my other angle. Uh, so I have 330 and I have 210. Now, if there's no interval that's given, we have to account for all the solutions all the way around the multiple revolutions. Like for instance, this one, because there's no interval, it, basically we're not, we're not just uh, confining it to one revolution on the unit circle from 0 to 360. There's no interval, that means that my answer could be here, but if I add 360, I'll come back to the same spot, add another 360, back to the same spot, keep going around the whole circle like that, I'll have multiple answers. So I have to account for that here uh, when I express my answers. So anytime you have a problem like this with no interval given, what we have to do 
is we're going to go ahead and add this. I'm going to add a 360K to it. Now the K is uh, would be any kind of integer. That represents multiple revolutions. So uh, the K just means any kind of integer, negative, positive. So if I'm going to go around this way or this way, it doesn't matter. It takes me back to the same two spots on there. And I have to uh, add 360 to each one because if I add 360 to this, it's going to take me back to this point, but not this one. So with this one, I also need to add 360 to take me back to the same spot on the unit circle. So this would be my complete answer. Now, of course, I could uh, just as easily express this in terms of radians. Okay, so I could just easily convert those over into radians. Three pi, uh, or by doing that, the 360k here instead of 360, I'd have a two pi k instead. So again, I could uh, e write these uh, as um, you know in in the radians if I wanted to, but because there's no interval was given, it doesn't specify whether we want to write it in radians or degrees.